Hey guys, this is just a super quick video to try to help people out so they don't make the same mistake I did. Changing out the AC compressor or compressor clutch on a 2007 uh, Infiniti G35S. This is the VQ35 HR engine, um, which is different than the VQ35 DE engine. And the AC compressor is different too, so don't think it's the same compressor. Before you buy a compressor for the vehicle, double check the bolt pattern, or um, not even just the bolt pattern, but the actual output, the high and low side output of from the compressor. These two ports right here you see, this is my old compressor. Um, on the VQ35DE, it's like one unit basically, one connection with two hoses coming out. I have a rebuilt, not a rebuilt, I've got an old compressor in here from a different vehicle. Um, to get the compressor out, you don't actually have to undo this hose. But what you almost have to do is, you gotta protect your radiator fins by taping a metal plate or some kind of thin sheet. I use metal because it's super thin. Ideally, it would come all the way up to here too, but this hose is gonna be able to bend. You are gonna lose some coolant because you do need to take the fan assembly out of here. And um, obviously, your uh, air filters and stuff. So basically you're going to take a lot of stuff off the top, which doesn't really actually take too long. And then um, you can get the old compressor out. I brought it out through the top here. The fan assembly drops out through the bottom. I couldn't get it out through the top. So you're going to have to put your car up on a jack and some jack stands. Make sure you stay safe. Use jack stands. You don't want the jack failing and getting crushed. Um, one important thing I wanted to tell you, though, is my clutch went bad. I tested it. And when you test your clutch, it is this this one right here that you're going to test with 12 volts positive. So this is going to be negative. This is a single pin inside there. You can kind of see it. And you can test it. You'll hear a clunk. And then if, if uh, the belt is off, you should be able to freely, uh, not freely, you should be able to turn it and you'll feel the, the meat inside the compressor turning. And then if there is no clunk, and if you try to spin the outside of the clutch, mine's, mine's gone right now at this point, but if you spin it, um, it'll spin freely if the clutch isn't engaged. This is just the electromagnet behind the actual clutch. And um, the reason why I'm doing this video is, if I could have gotten this part off, I could have just replaced the this whole clutch assembly and the magnet and all that. But this um, snap clamp in here would not come off for the life of me. I was trying to pull it apart, and I have a nice snap ring pliers. I actually have two. I bought a second set just for this. But this thing is wedged in there so hard, even after a lot of WD-40, even after pounding on this, I pounded on, on this as well to try to jostle it and jiggle anything loose. And uh, this is a California vehicle. There's no, there's not really any rust in there. It's just, it's a pinch fit that's pinched so tightly over the years, um, and possibly even deformed the aluminum just the tiniest bit. But that thing uh, would not come off inside the vehicle. And maybe I'll try just for shits and giggles um, to get it off now Now that it's out and I can see what I'm doing. But, you know, I worked at that for maybe two hours trying to get that off. And you're holding up a mirror and you're at an awkward angle. I used a torch to, to bend another uh, snap ring pliers to actually get in there in this tight area. So the main point is you probably won't get your clutch... Uh, assembly off either. So just buy a used or new AC compressor with the clutch already attached. When you put the new or used one in, do not forget to use oil. I think the correct amount, um, and it takes uh, PAG 46, the correct amount was somewhere between five and six ounces. I can't remember exactly. I kind of guesstimated to be totally honest, and I know the pros will say don't ever do that, but I guesstimated. I'm sure there's still a little bit of oil left in the system little bit of oil left in this used compressor so I think with with between four and six ounces you're gonna be okay you know put too much in you're gonna be okay but you're gonna lose cooling capacity so now I got this new one in there um, I did buy an o-ring set off of eBay um, I'm just gonna show that off real quick but they are different so th this is what I got off of eBay and I'm pretty sure Rock Auto sells the same thing and a lot of places do Santec you can see the part number and all that. The old O-rings, though, 
are kind of square. So, and I'm not sure if that's due to it sitting so long in a compressed position, but especially that little one, it's kind of squarish. I'm not sure if that was from sitting so long or uh, if it was designed that way to have more contact area. Anyways, I'm a little worried about it, but when I popped them back in, it did feel like the O-ring was forced to deform. Um, I do recommend using a little bit of silicone grease. I went ahead and used this stuff on it, on the O-ring. Uh, just in case there's any menu scale cracks, that grease will actually kind of form a seal. And um, hopefully how this was designed is that O-ring will, with the vacuum in the system, that O-ring will be sucked inward to form even more of a seal. And that grease will help, help it slide and help form that seal in that vacuum system. Uh, I think that's all I got. Yep, good luck.